Hey, I have another integral here from MIT 2015 problem number five. We have the integral of from zero to pi over two of e sine x, e to the sine x over tan x cosecant x dx. Okay, definitely some things sticking out here. We don't really like sine and the exponent there, but I'm not ready to deal with that just yet. Because what's more concerning is, this looks really suspicious, like we need to write this in terms of sine and cosine. Because right now, I don't really know how to deal with integrating tan and cosecant together. Just do this on the side. So tan x is going to be sine x cosine x. And cosecant x is 1 over sine x. Multiplying those together, we get a cancellation here. And then we're just left with secant x. But this secant x is in the denominator. So that's the same, same thing as really saying we have one over secant x, but secant x is one over cosine x, so this is actually just cosine x. I think that's gonna help us out a lot, so let's just rewrite this whole thing with this simplification in mind. So we're gonna have e sine x, and then I'm taking my whole denominator and writing it as just cos x, and then a dx on the end. But like I said initially, we really don't like sine x in the exponent, but we can handle that with a u substitution. Now we have a cos x right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say u is equal to sine x. Take our derivative. du is gonna be cos x dx. We have our du right here. So let's make this substitution, but before I do that, let's, we'll have to change our bounds. So first dealing with pi over two, plug that in here. The sine of pi over two is gonna be just one. And then evaluating at zero, sine at zero is just zero. Substituting here, we have e to the, this is our u in the exponent, this whole thing being du. We got ourselves a really simple integral because we know that the integral of eu is just eu. So we just need to evaluate this at from zero to one. First we'll plug in one, we end up with e to the one, but we can kind of just ignore the one up there minus e to the zero, e to the zero is just one, and we're left with a very clean answer, e minus one. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.